Okay, for this project, I'm using a size J. It's a six millimeter crochet hook. And I'm using Red Heart Super Saver. Uh, four ply, worsted away acrylic. But you can use, you don't have to use acrylic, you can use any type of four ply yarn that you have. Okay. I'm going to start on the bottom of the bag. And you want to start with a chain of 28. And then we're going to do a double crochet and the fourth stitch from the hook. And remember that we never count the one that's on our hook. So on the fourth one, do a double crochet. And I'm going to do one double crochet in every stitch along the chain until I get to the end. Okay, I made it to the end and I have one stitch left. Sorry about this black yarn. I have one stitch left here and the very last stitch I'm going to put three double crochets in it. One, two, three. All in the same stitch. And then I'm just going to turn my work a little bit and then I'm going to be working on the bottom here. But I'm going to turn it to where it's the top. I put three double crochets in that last stitch, so I want to go um, into the Okay, here's where I put the three in the last stitch, so I just want to go to the next one and put one double crochet in it. And then I'm going to put one double crochet in each stitch across this bottom part of the chain. Until I get to the end. Down to this end, and when I get to the very last stitch, on this end, I want to put three uh, double crochets in that stitch to match the other side. So three in the same stitch, like that. And then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna come around and I'm gonna slip stitch into the top of the very first stitch to close that round off, like that. Now I want to do a chain three, which is gonna count as a double crochet. And then I want to go back into the same stitch and do another double crochet. The same stitch that I just slip stitched and made that chain three in. And then I want to go to the next stitch and I'm going to put two double crochets in that one. So we got two in the first one, two in the second one. Now I'm going to work along the row putting one double crochet in each stitch. So one double in each stitch all the way down till we get to this side down to the end again and now what I want to do is the very last stitch where we put three double crochets in it I want to count two back so two before the three in the same stitch we'll put two crochets two double crochets in the first one two double crochets into the next one and then we'll be at the three stitches that we put in the corner we want to put two double crochets in each one of them each of the three And then you want to put two double crochets in each of the two stitches after these three that we just did in the corner. Or those three that were in the corner. So two in each of the next. So it was two double crochet. We had the three in the corner, um, two double crochets in each of the double crochets before and after the three that was in the corner. Now we want to work our way down putting one double crochet in each stitch around just like this until we get to the other side and on this end and I want to do the same thing I just did on the other side so we got the three in the, in the corner you want to go two before the three in the corner and 
and you want to put two double crochets in each of them and then you want to put two double crochets in each of the three in the corner Oops. I messed up and do that again. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm putting two double crochet and my three in the corner two in each one of them. And then I want to slip stitch into the chain three from the pre from the beginning. Okay. Um, at the end of this round, after you slip stitched into your beginning chain three, you need to count your stitches and you should have a total of 68 stitches. And it doesn't have to be exactly 68 if you maybe um, missed a stitch or so, but in order for the house to stitch to work, you need to have a multiple of two. So I have 68, and if you have something different, as long as it's a multiple of two, it's going to work out. Um, and um, I want to stress there's many different ways to do the house two stitch. Um, this is just the way I do it. So sometimes when I do um, bags with different stitches, Sometimes people send me messages and tell me how I do them wrong and stuff, but <laughs> I just do them how I was always taught, and they seem to always work out for me. So I, I know there are a bunch of different ways to do this one, so this, this is how I'm, I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, where we slip stitched here, I'm going to go ahead and pull that out, and I'm going to slip stitch through the same spot, but I'm going to go ahead and pull through my other color. There we go like that now I'm not gonna cut this one my first color because when we make it back around I'm just gonna pull up and use it again but I am going to go ahead and uh, hide this tail while I'm working and if you want to sew it in later that's fine the white tail the other one I'm gonna leave my first color so what you want to do is, oh, I'm going to start out with a chain one, and then I'm going to go back into the exact same stitch that I just slip stitched into, and I'm going to do a single crochet, like that, and then I'm going to go to the next stitch and do a double, and then the next one is going to be a single and then a double single and double. this is a really really easy stitch but it really looks cool when you're finished so all you're gonna do is just repeat around um, single double single double just like this And you just want to do this all the way around until you get back to your starting point. Double, single, double, single, and I'm going to do that all the way around back to here. Okay, I'm coming around here and now your last stitch should be a, a double crochet like that and now I want to switch colors I want to go back to my first color that I was using but I don't want to clip off the yarn I'm just going to keep switching it back and forth without clipping that way I don't have so many tails to hide now in order to switch colors here I'm just going to pull out the first 
part of this last double crochet like that and I'm just going to take my new color and finish it out. That way my colors are switched now. And now I'm going to start again. This first I'm going to be working in a round now so if you want to put a stitch marker there you can but you'll probably always remember because you'll be coming back up to where you need to switch colors each time around. But it's up to you. So this first stitch right here is a single crochet. Now I want to put a double crochet in it this time. So just jump right over and do a double crochet with your new color. Like that. And now the next stitch, see this is a double crochet, I want to put a single crochet in that. I'm doing the same thing as I did last time. Double crochet, single crochet, double crochet. But now I'm doing it opposite of what I did. Like I did it this was a double, so I put a single on top of it. And the next one's a single, so it's going to be a double. And then a single. Oh. And double. Single. Double. Single. And we're just going to repeat this. all the way back around. Coming around again to my last stitch um, and it should be, this time it'll be a single because our last stitch was a double. So I'm going to switch my collars again here. So I'm going to go into it and grab up my yarn like I'm going to do a single crochet but I'm going to drop this yarn, pick up my other one and finish it out like that. And now I can keep working around again. And we're going to do the same thing. Keep going around doing the same thing. Now since the first one that we did was a double, we're going to do a single this time. And then the next one's going to be a double. And the next stitch will be a single. So this is how we're just going to do it from now on. Um, double on the next. It's always single double, single double, but we just do it opposite each other each row. So this was a single last time, so I'm going to do a double on top of it now. And then it was a double, so I'm going to do a single. And I just want to keep doing this, rounds of this. And I'm going to change color every other round. I'm just going to Remember, I'm just keeping the same color, or same string. I'm not ever clipping it. I'm just dragging it up the side with me. So it's really easy. And I think the more rows you do of it, the more you'll be able to see the, oh, see the effect of it. starting to start to see it a little bit. I think it looks really cool. But I'm just going to keep doing this around and around until I get um, as tall as I want my bag to be. But I'm not quite sure how many rows I'm going to do of it. So I'm going to get started and I'll let you know here in a minute how many I do. I went ahead and did a total of 18 rows. But you can do more if you want to. That's fine. And I'll show you how to close it. Clean this. Sorry. My mom brought me over some Zucchini bread, and I was just sitting here eating it while I was crocheting. Okay, once you do your last stitch here, um, you just want to go ahead and slip stitch into the next stitch, like that. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to slip stitch in the next one, too. And now you can go ahead and cut both, cut, cut that one, and then you can cut your other one. And then you want to sew in the tails. And I'll sew them in in just a minute. Go ahead and show you how to get started on the the next. What we're gonna do next. Now I'm gonna put a flap on it. I thought about it. I think that's what I want to do. So I'm gonna get it laid out flat like that. 
And you're going to need a couple stitch markers. And since I ended in this color, I'm going to start with the next color. That way it's still continuing the same pattern. So I'm going to start with a slip knot. Well, first I'm going to mark out a couple spaces. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it, but I'm going to start it in my flap in a little bit because I think in the end I want to put a ruffle around it. And that's going to take up a little bit of space too. So, I think I'm going to go in one, two, three, four of the little um, hounds two stitches. Like this is one whole one. And but you can do yours different, but this is one, two, three. I'm going to start on the single crochet of the fourth one. And I'm going to put a slip stitch in it. Or, I'm sorry, a stitch marker. I don't know what I'm thinking. And then I'm going to do the same over here. Um, this would be my one, two, three, fourth one. But I want to put a stitch marker in the double crochet of this one. That way, I'm using starting with this one and finishing with that one. That way it's... It's even. Let me look at it and make sure it, it looks okay. You can check it out and make sure it looks pretty even to you. If you want to move yours around, you can. Okay. So now I want to start with the slip stitch on my hook. Now I'm working. In the end, this is going to be the back of my bag. So I'm, I'm going to crochet the flat back and forth like this and then it's going to fold over to the side. So if you have a preference on what you want the front or back to be, we're going to be working with the back facing. But they will look the same to me, so it doesn't matter. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and start in this first stitch here that I marked, and it's a sing we're going to do it the same way. Um, this is a single crochet, so I want to go in. I'm going to go ahead and pull through that slip knot on my hook. And since this is a single crochet, I want this one to be a double on top of it. So instead of that double, I'm just going to do a chain three. And that's going to start my row. Like that. So now I'm going to go into the next stitch and single crochet. And then double in the next. Single. And double single double. I can go ahead and move this stitch marker too. And I want to do the single double pattern until I get to my other stitch marker. Coming down here to the end of my first row here, and I'm to my stitch marker. And I put the stitch marker in the double crochet stitch, but actually I want to end it on top of a single crochet. I don't know what I was thinking before, but so where I'm at is fine. I want to end it where I ended in a double crochet on top of a single. So I'm just going to end it right there. But I actually want to switch colors now. So what I'm going to do is pull my new color through the top of this double crochet, just like we were doing before, like that. Now I'm going to chain one, and then I'm going to turn my work like this. Now you can clip your string and start a new each row. But if you want to, you can carry this because when you get down here is where you're going to have to start the other one. And it's not going to be down here. It's going to be over here. So what you can do is you can carry it with you or you can start fresh. I'll probably just carry it with me so I don't have to tie in so many tails. And what you do is you just pull it around the front, your piece around the front, and you just crochet around it just like... Uh, just like you're hiding a tail, kind of. So you want to, we 
You went ahead and chained one and turn. So you want to go back into the same stitch right here and do a single crochet. And the next stitch is a single. So we want to do a double. And then single and a double. And all this time I'm carrying this uh, other piece with me. It's still attached and I'm just carrying it along. And you don't have to do that if it's, I know it's hard, some people will have a hard time carrying that stitch or carrying and hiding tails so if you want to clip it you can it's just a, more tails that you have to hide in if you don't mind doing that I don't like it I'm going to carry it with me Okay, I'm coming to the end now. And I'm going to go ahead and go into the top of that beginning chain three. Oh, and I'm going to do my single crochet, but I'm going to grab onto my new color that I carried with me. And start it. So now I'm going to chain three again because and turn because we're on top of the single crochet. So now I'm going to take this my last color that I just ended with and I'm going to carry it over crossed just like I did with the other color before. I'm just going to crochet it under. like it's a tail kind of. Okay, so I did my double crochet for this first one. Now I'm gonna single crochet and double. I'm just doing what we've been doing. Whenever there's a double below, you do a single on top of it. And whenever there's a single below, you do a double on top of it. And I'm just carrying over my color from the previous row. That way I don't have a bunch of tails to tie in later. It's a little bit confusing I guess, but or it kind of gets in my way a little bit, but still beats tying in tails. I really hate sewing them things on. Okay, I'm coming to the end again. Like that. But I actually, I want to switch my colors here. Just like that. And I'm going to turn my work again. And now I'm going to work again across doing the same thing. I'm going to carry my color across again. My yarn's getting all tangled, but. Okay, chain one and turn. Got my yarn here to carry across so I can start with it again on the next round. Let's see, I ended in a. I don't even know here. Oh, I ended in a double crochet. I have to look. So I want to go back into the same stitch single, double in the next, single, double, and I just want to keep repeating this until I get my flap as big as I want, 
And so I'm going to go ahead and finish up my flat part. And then I'll let you know how many rows I do of it. I went ahead and did 12 rows for the flap. You can make your flap bigger if you want. Just try to end it in the same color that you did this. So mine's the black and I ended it in the black. Because now I'm going to go around it all with the opposite color again. Um, with a row of single crochet. So, I'm just going to start probably right here. I'm going to go around it, the whole top with single crochet all around and then I'm going to go up the sides single crochet, single crochet, single crochet all the way around. You can start anywhere you want. Actually, I'll probably just start right here and go up. Start your with the slip knot on your hook and go through the slip knot, go through the same stitch, single crochet, and then you want a single crochet, one in every stitch. And some of these are going to be kind of hard to tell, so just kind of try to evenly space your single crochets out here when you're going along the side because you can't really, they're going to be hard to see. Stitches are that was just hiding that tail. I'll go ahead and clip that off. It always confuses me and gets in my way. Okay, I'm coming up here to the corner. If you want to make a nice clean corner, I would just do a couple single crochets in the corner and then start back around. Doing one in every stitch. It just makes it uh, curve around a little bit better. Okay, I'll probably put two in this little spot here, around the corner, and then I'll continue back down this side, just evenly spacing my single crochets. Okay, now I'm just going to keep working around. Put one single crochet in every stitch. 
like that. And I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around until I get back to my starting point. I went around all that with my single crochet like that. Now I want to add a, ra a ruffle around just the flat part. I'm going to do that with a different color. So I'm going to start with the slip knot and we're only going to be working around this flap. So just start right here where the flap begins. Just go into one of them stitches. And go through that slip knot on your hook. Okay. Now I'm going to do a chain three. And that's going to count as a double crochet. And what I want to do this time around is put three double crochets in every stitch. So I'm going to go back into the same stitch and put two more. So that I'm counting that chain three, that'll be a total of three. And then I want to go in the next stitch and add three doubles. One, two, three, and then three doubles in the next. doubles in the next one two and three so I'm just gonna do this all the way around um, three doubles in every stitch up around the top and then back around to here I'm done with that row of three double crochet in every stitch now I'm gonna do it again but I went ahead and tied off at the end and I'm gonna start new back here where I started before otherwise if you was to just turn down here and go your stitches would look like this and it would be on the front if that makes any sense I want them to look like this on both sides so I'm just starting fresh and what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch into the top of this chain three and then I'm going to chain three again. One, two, three. Now I'm gonna go through and just work one double crochet in every stitch. And this is gonna make it wider. And I just wanna work the one double crochet and every stitch all the way around back to here. After that second row of ruffles, I'm going to go ahead and tie it off. I'm going to do one more thing here to this ruffle. Okay, I'll go back in them. Um, so on that tail later. I'm going to start with my same color as the ruffle, whatever color you're using. Lay this bag out flat. I'm going to single crochet around here, but I'm single crochet this ruffle to this top part. That way it's not flopping up on me. I noticed it was kind of, when I shut it, it was kind of flopping up and I didn't like it. So I'm going to go ahead and fix it. And I'm just going to go into there's um, a row, two rows, of, like a double crochet row and a double crochet so, row. So you're going to need four single crochets evenly spaced in between here. So just kind of go in it and then go into the first stitch right here and go in that slip knot on your hook like that. Okay, and chain one. I'm going to count that chain one as a single crochet. So I'm going to go into and find another single crochet or another stitch, and I'm going to go into stitch back here, single crochet. And I'm going to go into a, another stitch, stitch back here, single crochet. And then a stitch back here, and single crochet. 
There, that way it's not going to flop, flop up on me. And now I'm just going to single crochet um, around the top here. All around here. And then I'm going to single crochet this little flat piece on too after I sew them tails in. I finished that row single crochet. Now for the handles, I had a couple handles that I got off an old uh, bag that I got from a resale store. And I just sewed them on. But you can make any kind of handle that you want. Or if you have handles, you just sew them on. You can make one handle, two handles, long handles, short handles. It's really up to you. But that's all I'm going to do for this bag. And I think it turned out really well. And if you make this bag, I'd like to see a picture of it. You can post it on the Bag of Day Crochet uh, Facebook page. I'll put a link below in the description box. And don't forget to check out all my other tutorials. I have a whole bunch of bags and purses. And until next time, have a good night.